Hi, welcome to an AutoCAD 2022 video tutorial. It's about dynamic blocks and how to chain actions in dynamic blocks. So I've got two dynamic blocks here, one up here that's selected, and you will notice I've got five controls for each of those rectangles, and I've got one central control here. So if I move this one, I can control with this action all the actions of the above rectangles. But I can change those individually. And that's the difference between chaining actions and using one action for more than one parameter. Same applies to this one. So I've got one rotation control for all which allows me to move them all together and I've got separate controls to move those individually. So let's zoom in. See, I can move this one, I can move that one, I can move this one and of course I can move them all together. So Let's have fun with AutoCAD. So I've already prepared six rectangles with associative hatch patterns. So let's go for our block. Go for insert, create block, and call this central control one. Like this. Then choose insertion point, maybe this one. Select the objects, these, right click and convert it into a block and open the block in the block editor. Now I have to add linear parameters. So I need one here. Another one over here, another one over there, and another one, and another one. Let's select these, select one, right click and go for select similar. Go to the properties and change the number of the groups to 1 and go to chain actions and change this to yes. Like that. Now the appropriate action for those parameters would be of course stretch. So let's go for stretch, select the parameter Select the grip and then select it like this. Right click, same action for this one. Select the grip like that. Again, select, select the grip. Select it like that. Okay. Another one. And another one. And okay. Now select them again. Go for a select similar. Go to the properties and you can go for an increment. Let's go from 100 to 200. And the increment might be 10. Okay, now I need 
another linear parameter here so go for another parameter linear from this corner to that one let's go for one grip select it go for one grip add an action stretch select it select the grip and like this and now add those parameters here one two three four and five right click let's test it so if you now select this rectangle here and that grip all the others will move as well great and close the block editor but before save the block and close the block editor okay now for the second dynamic block let's go for another one create block call this central rotation for example pick at that center select the objects right click and open in block editor now we'll need rotational parameters let's start with one which starts of course in the center and goes to the outside and of course that angle should be zero add another one from the center up to this position add another one from the center up to that position and another one from the center from the center and put the grip right there now the actions of course rotate so go for rotate and this would be the parameter and that would be the object but first let's switch those three parameters one two three to chain one two and three go to the properties and switch it from chain actions no to chain actions yes now let's add the actions so go for rotate so this one should rotate this bar here right click then this one this here and the next one this here and this one should control all three and the red one so select this one and select those three parameters one two and three right click now let's check the properties of that action and this should be not dependent but independent same for this action should be again independent and that one should be independent as well now let's test this one so this should be visible on the screen select it now we've got one control which controls all bars simultaneously and then we got independent movement here here and of course here 
as well and then we can move them all together. Close that test block, save that block and close the block editor. So that's it for today. I hope it was helpful. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook fan page. It would be very nice if you I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.